Hi everyone, welcome back. I've had so many people asking me, how could they improve at math? Well, after 43 years teaching, here are my secrets. It doesn't matter whether you're a 12 year old, even younger, it doesn't matter whether you're in your final year of high school at the highest level. Same principles apply, I just said over and over again. The most powerful thing I can say to anyone after trying so many things over the years, I've tried all sorts of things to get students to help them improve their mark and do better. Things like <laughs> stick a piece of paper on the toilet door with important stuff on it. Get cards, I've made up cards like small pocket cards where you could write things front and back. And people writing books full of stuff, I've, I've tried everything. But as well as that, I do a lot of memorization in my class and, and consolidating and helping people to get comfortable with their topic. So here's the big one. It took me, I don't know, 35 years of teaching before it dawned on me one day. Just get a piece of A4 paper, fold it in half, and then in quarters and then in eight. So fold it three times. And you end up with a fairly small piece of paper with eight sections on it. On one side, I just use one side of paper and you can write things in those eight sections. Sometimes I make them a little bit bigger, but now here's the big thing of what you do with it. Even when I'm teaching a class, I'll say to students, instead of writing this question in your book, write it on a piece of paper. I'm seeing more and more of them do it over time. It's crazy how many people just resist or don't even want to try it. I call it the smart way of learning. Because once you've got things written on that piece of paper, you can carry it with you in your pocket, and you can look at it when you're in the car with your parents, when you're sitting at the doctor's, when you're waiting at a train station, waiting for a bus, uh, school bus to school. Anytime, you can just look at it. Now, the powerful thing is people think you've got to do a lot of work to memorize concepts. Well, it takes time and some topics will drive you crazy. That's common. I had one boy saying to me that he was, he was dumb at parabolas. And I went, no, this is normal. Lots of people struggle with it. It's nothing to do with his ability. It's just one of those things that people struggle with. And that takes time to sink in. So here's, here's the thing I say to you. Pick one of my videos somewhere on whatever topic it is. I don't, it doesn't matter what you're struggling with. You can just type in Robert Prestwich and put in any topic. Um, equations, area, volume surface area, statistics, negative numbers, any topic. And then you will get a playlist on that topic percentages and you, you get this playlist and they've got the questions numbered in there the, the videos numbered in there so you pick one of them to watch now some people should start halfway through the list so if I go down here on my channel and I pick so if I scroll down here I've got year 7 which is 12 to 13 year olds I've got year 8 which is 13 to 14 year olds no matter where you are in the world year 9 and 10 I've got them as one group there's just a lot of common material they have in it so that's 14 to 16 year olds and then we have in Australia 10 extension so it's what we call 10a which is like the old 10 advanced then I've got this thing called one minute maths which has got a whole heap 15 videos should add a whole lot more to it because it's got all these things it's amazing what I can explain in one minute now when I get students to watch those 15 who are basically at the 16, 17, 18 year old level. It's amazing how much they don't know. And they can sit there and watch it and go, oh, I forgot a lot of that, or I didn't really understand it, and now I do. Now in Australia, we've got these four courses. The lowest one is essential maths, non-examinable in terms of a final exam. Then we have uh, applications for year 11, we call it year 11 and 12. So this is your 16, 17, 18 year olds in their last two years of high school. Doesn't matter where you are, doesn't matter if you go to year 13, That'd be the last two years of high school. Then you get the two academic courses. Now to do the highest one called specialist, New South Wales call it extension. Uh, and then you have to do methods as well. So you're doing a double math. New South Wales calls it advanced. Now, if you look at this year nine and 10, you can click this right arrow and it takes you across, but it only gives you, I think it gives you 12 playlists. But I've got a lot more than 12 playlists in most sections. So I've got this thing here, click here. You can actually click anywhere or just press a view all. I put in click here because it works really nice. And if you have a look, this is for year nines and tens. And you have a look and I've got six, nine, 12, 15. I've got 18 playlists. And if you look at the topics, there's number playing, statistics, uh, ratios and rates. I might pick ratios and rates and have a look at that. So let's you press this view the full playlist. And how now you've got all these videos. 
And look what I've done. I know I'm crazy. I, I, I love it though. I, I do it because I love teaching. Nice to have all the wonderful comments for people saying how much they appreciate it. So have a look what's going on here. If you're back at the basics and you don't understand ratios at all, you start with the first and the second video. So what you do is click on this first video. So there'd be a lot of people there look wouldn't even bother looking at this video. I'm not trying to get you to watch videos you don't need to watch. So some people they do, they need to take their time and watch that video. But you can see the eight questions. And if you sit there and you go, well, I'm right, maybe you fast forward through. And if you go through and watch what happens, you can see all my working out and you can look at the first question and you can see if you were correct or not. Now there's all sorts of hits, hints and tricks that I put into it. So look at the numbers that are there. You can go right to the end and look at the last question. Hopefully my body's not in the way. I really try to not get my body in the way. So a lot of people will start there. I'm going to look at these names. Look at the names I've got. I've got video um, one, two, ratio three. Now it's a simple mixture. Dividing in a, uh, in a uh, quantity. Now that's where a lot of people start to have tr trouble. So let's say you thought you were okay and you click on the video four. And you start to look at it and you look at this and you go, oh, look at that. There's three questions there. And you look at it and you go, divide $10 uh, in the ratio of 3 to 2. And a lot of you would know that at a quite a young age. So you don't need to watch it. So you can go further and further with it. I didn't go to really bad one um, numbers there. But if you go down further, like say video 06. The ratio is 06. And there's a bit of tricky stuff there. So it depends on you. Now I can go further and there's decimals and there's fractions. A lot of people particularly have trouble with fractions but here's the big one if you look at the end i like it when i get to do this revision test revision now if you have a look at this one and i pause on it i get a big screen i get my head out the way so you can look at there are fractions a bit tricky there are decimals a bit tricky and then a mixture of them so for some of you you just have a look at that and you look at the first one and you can see it's two to one you're okay and then fast forward and see if you're okay with it Look, the moment I look at this, I'm always making more videos. I think I've got about nearly 400 at the moment. I have so many in my mind. I have things that people are requesting. So I could easily <laughs> make another 100 videos. But at this stage, I'm still working. So it's a matter of time, all I can do. So I don't mind suggestions. It's a matter if I can get to them and do them. So that's probably enough. Now, the big thing is, if you watch this video here and you were good at this topic and you looked at the little, say, question four, 0.04 to 8 and you struggle with it or it made you hesitate or you weren't confident write it on the piece of paper so if i fast forward to here you don't even have to watch a video to get it all oh, i would love people to watch more videos because i need the view hours if i'm ever going to get something put in i don't know well over a thousand hours in making maths videos and i don't get paid anything for it but that's playing up with my internet for some reason there there it goes now you can see here there's question five and you can look at it and go oh if that makes sense you write in a piece of paper then you got to look at that piece of paper so it's not a matter of watching video after video after video you can uh, but watch out you don't watch too many too quick because it doesn't sink in you need time for your brain to become confident with it so if you look here at four five and six a lot of people struggle with four a lot of people struggle with five and a lot of people struggle with six so if you give yourself time to take that in by not necessarily watching the video again but you can even if you watch parts of the video again is putting them on the piece of paper and when you go to bed that night have a look at them and go oh yeah i, I really understand that now then getting up the next morning and having another look because it takes time for things to get into what we call long memory we talk about long-term memory we talk about brainwashing it just takes time i've proven with tutoring i've had people who would really terrible at math struggle with math couldn't do simple fractions couldn't do simple decimals couldn't do time and given enough repetition and opportunity and making sure they didn't go too far too quick oh, in the end they they speed up and go absolutely incredible they can make such a difference to their learning ability so that's my secret is the lots of videos so if you're in the last two years of your high school and you're in high level courses, it doesn't matter whether you're in South Africa, Canada, um, India, Indonesia, it's from what I've seen, Japan, no matter where you are, it's basically the same content. So have a look at this course here. If you're looking for calculus, 
and I've split it up into various special things of calculus, differentiation, a lot of people have trouble with factorization, a lot of people have trouble with graphing, the one's gone black here, graphing hyperbolas, cubic, square roots, parabolas, it goes on and on what you can graph there. Index laws, and they get tricky, muck people up a lot. They have a lot of trouble with those ideas. Integration, logarithms. Now, if you click here again, you can get a lot more topics, a lot more playlists. I'll do it briefly. And you can come down to the bottom here, and we've got trig equations, thirds, non-right trig, uh, simultaneous equations, sequences and series. And on it goes. And in the very highest level one here, this is where people don't realise how much I've got. I'm going to click on there. By the way, I have these little uh, video lists of good videos to watch before our year 12 exams here in Australia. They're topics I know a lot of students struggle with or I saw students have struggled with in their practice exams. So here we go, we've got calculus, we've got complex numbers, matrices, permutations, combinations, polynomials, all sorts of proofs, induction. Big one is this graphing, I'm going to make this one here black. Reciprocals of functions, inverses of functions, uh, F, o, F of G, com, uh, composite function that goes on and on in that topic. Big topics, you can just look at your textbook and go, have I got simple harmonic motion? There's simple harmonic motion. Have I got simultaneous equations with three equations? You can see it just by looking at the chapter headings on your textbook. Trig equations, big one, vectors. In year 11 over here we do 2D vectors and then in year 12 we go to 3D vectors. So there are a lot of videos. There's 19 videos on 3D and 13 videos on 2D. I could make an awful lot more. Another big topic I've only just coming to grips with myself in recent years is the logistic model. And I've made one called the logistic model for dummies. And I've not gone through a lot of the complicated stuff. I just want to make it simple and understandable, understandable for most people to do. Well, as usual, I hope it helped. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.